Hey there guys, long time no see. I am back again with another video after like a month away. Had some IRL stuff going on, actually got a new job recently, so I've kind of been a little quiet, but when I've had the time, or I've wanted to, I've decided to go ahead and start streaming again. And over time, quite a few of you guys have been asking me over and over, Waylon, when is the next RimWorld video coming out? Well, here it is. Last time on Yu-Gi-Oh! We actually made some serious progress last time. We have donkeys, we have Section 8 housing, we have a new member of the colony, and I even redesigned the kill funnel. Even more effective than the first redesign. But let's talk about what's happening now. I was actually just sending caravans out and trying to upgrade the colony, you know, get better materials, make a comm relay, and like last time I made a multi-analyzer, which has been making this stuff a seamless process. Things were going good, things were going great, and just as simple as they started, they started getting stupendously fucking ridiculous. Right as I'm just starting to, like, get my groove on and, you know, just chilling, mechanoids attack us, defoliator ships start just coming down from the earth. If you don't know what a defoliator ship is, let me enlighten you. A defoliator ship does something really cool, which means it is actually made by Monsanto, and since you wouldn't use their shit, they just fly the ship in and crash it, and it just spreads plant killer everywhere, and it kills all vegetation, and it gradually gets bigger. And if you don't take it out, your crops die, so does the grass, so any vegetarians and animals will starve to death. Also, they're guarded by mechanoids. This is a big issue. Now, if you don't know already, go back and watch the first RimWorld video when you get the chance. I do not have a great relationship with mechanoids. Uh, they literally destroyed the first iteration of the colony. So yeah, I don't have a, I don't like those guys at all. And though my track record with mechanoids isn't great, it is still possible for us to fight it. We do have much better gear. We even have armor. The only issue is, is we don't have the proper gear. So what I decided to do is I started crafting EMP weapons. I believe I made an EMP launcher and I had some EMP nades lying around. And uh, we went down there to go fight them. And then right as we're about to get going, uh, Bogdan just walks in and beats the holy shit out of these mechs. Dude, Bogdan is like, he's the hero of this series. This guy has done nothing but just carry this colony to greatness. Every step of the way. So yeah, there goes the defoliator ship. Oh yeah, and then we get hit with a second one. Because, you know, buy one, get one free. I didn't even pay for that first one, but I feel like I lost something when I got it for free. <laughs> I'm just trying to do cool shit with my base. These stupid fucking mechs won't leave me alone, please. Oh yeah, by the way, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell, and also join my Discord. I mean it. Join it. Link in the description. Anyway, after delay after delay, I finally got the comms relay built. Took some time to get the research done for it, but we finally got it built. We even have a fabrication bench to make our own components, which has been a godsend. But, comm relay. Why is this so important? It gives me the ability to communicate with everyone. I can even communicate with people in space to trade if they're passing over. But the other thing is that you can actually receive transmissions, whether it's from allies, enemies, just anonymously. And holy shit, these are amazing. Because let me tell you something. We're going to run it back real quick. In the first episode of this series, the original colony, when I sent a caravan out, I sent a couple people out. Vaughn was one of them. And Vaughn, during an ambush, was unfortunately downed and kidnapped. And ever since then has not been seen since. We were not sure if he was still alive. But then, after getting that comms relay and I think three or four in-game years gone by... We found him. A random radio transmission came in letting us know where he was being captive. And not only that, we were going there now. Or so I thought, and then I realized that maybe I should like prepare for it. So yeah, we strapped the fuck up for this because we don't know what we're going to expect. So yeah, Vaughn gets rescued today, boys. The rise of the one arm scissors is about to reach its climax. We are so back. They're pretty much good on food. Like I'm growing hay right here. Like, I just have this more as a, uh... Oh, no, dude. Why does Randy gotta do this shit to us? Nice. Oh, 
shit. Good thing I called that immediately. Oh shit, Toll. <laughs> you need to haul ass. I knew that was gonna happen at some point. Holy shit, these little fucking things are fast. Benko, my man. You kill this thing. Pray for me, because I do not know what to do here. Okay, okay. Con, I need you. Who? <laughs> Move, you big motherfucker! Someone here is about to die. Like, there's no denying that. And that's one down. How's Macy looking? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Let's go. Holy shit. All right. Alicia, do me a favor, big girl. Take care of these puppies for me. <laughs> yeah, Semper Fi, baby. These are my marines. Now we gotta do something about this fucking droner, dude. Dude, we're straight dogs. Dude, we're straight fucking dogs. Defoliator ship? Oh, you've gotta be fucking shitting me, dude. All right. This is going to kill every plant in the area, so yeah, this is kind of a big deal. We need to handle this, like, ASAP. Man, fucking meow! Phew. We're like the Pirate Bay. No matter how many times you try to take us down, we rebuild. It's like that Family Guy episode when they destroy that fucking barn filled with Amish people and they rebuild it in, like, three seconds. This is, this is us. <gasps> oh! Dude! We can rescue Vaughn! Yo! Dude, we can get one of the OGs! He was one of the original members of the One-Armed Scissors that got kidnapped, and then the colony got wiped out. We can rescue him! Dude! Okay, bro. All bets are off. We are fucking going balls fucking out. Dude, we're so fucking back. So fucking back. Dude, Khan's probably going to be super old, but that doesn't matter. Like, he's back. Dude, if we can get him back and get some closure between him and Malcolm, bro, it's going to be it's gonna be something magical. This is the last thing we're doing before this stream ends. I am getting Vaughn back. I swear on my fucking life. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see, where are we? Where's that mortar located? That's a steel... Oh, okay, okay. This is actually really good. So, what we can do is... Huh? I didn't realize they could shoot that fucking far. Alright, well, shit's about to get real. No, Bogdan, brush that kid now.
Let's go, dude. Let's fucking go. All right, everyone needs to start tending to themselves. Dude, Bogdan is my dog, bro. You win some, you lose some. We're gonna make it back, though. Yeah, I forgot about the fact they eat kibble, too. They'll literally eat anything if it gives them sustenance. But hey, look at the bright side, dude. They are fucking back. Look at them, dude. Vaughn is back. Holy shit. Dude, we've been doing this playthrough for over a month, and we finally got him back. After six years in captivity, Vaughn is officially back. If you made it to the end of the video, it's probably a shorter video than I had anticipated. Uh, this was a pretty big moment, and I feel like it should have been dedicated to just one video. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, just some side notes. Again, I have a Discord. Please join it. Link will be in the description. If you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that bell. I'm trying to get back into the groove of streaming. Uh, the new stream schedule should be Tuesday and Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Around that, we might start a little early. We might be a little late. It really just depends. And though I try to use the YouTube community tabs as much as I can, I'm not the best with that stuff. Like I said, joining my Discord is a quick way to find out of what I'm doing. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you all in the next one.